zebra turtles. This is a great fire starter. You need to collect this stuff anytime you can. Hey guys, it's Travis and Tim with Equator Bushcraft coming at you with another video. Uh, continuing on with our exotic tender series. And today what we're going to be doing is lighting this uh, zebra turd in different ways. And this zebra turd is just like uh, donkey turd or mule turd, I guess you could say, uh, back home. So just because it's exotic doesn't mean that you can't find it even at home somewhere. Okay, today I want to show you just what I carry in my EDC, my everyday carry. I won't go into this in detail, but in that I carry a Fresnel lens. And so I thought we would try today by using the sunshine to light one of these uh, donkey turds. Hey, Travis, what is that right over there? That's going to be cool with it. Just to help us remember where we are so we don't forget we are in the African bush here. <laughs> but uh, we'll take our Fresnel lens and you see I just take one of these here, break it open so I get to more in the soft center. And then we just use our magnifying glass and I'll let him zoom in on that and you can see how that starts out really fast and again remembering the Sun is a renewable resource so we've not expended any energy at all and uh, this is something that we can keep with us at all times it'll never wear out as long as we've got the sunshine If you can see that smoking, it's glowing inside. And that's very easy now for me to take that, put it in my tender pile, and be able to start a fire. Wind's messing it up a little bit there. Another really cool thing about these donkey or uh, zebra turds, and you can use donkey too, I would assume horse would be the same maybe somewhere else in the world, but the nice thing about this is, is I can take this now and I can enclose these two together in a sense so I, I don't smother the coal, but I take the oxygen away just enough so that it can still smolder, but now that would give me the ability to carry this for long distances, uh, much like a cigar. And then I could have more of these along with me, and as one began to go out or it burned away, I can relight another one, or I can start a small fire enough to catch a coal, put it in another turd of zebra, and continue on on my safari until I got to wherever I needed to go. So this is a really cool way of doing this, and this is definitely one of my favorite ways. it over here and put it in our fire and see if we can't get our water boil. Hey guys, another, <clears throat> another tip or trick that I like to do after I'm finished and my pot or my bottle's all nasty, it's hard to put that back in my bag. So typically if you're in a sandy area, 
I like to just take a stick and dig a little bit of a hole just to loosen up some of the sand and take some of my water that's left over and I can wet that down and take and rub that off on my bottle and it really helps to get it clean. washed it and where I have it. Just something good to know. Pick that trick up from the locals. So this is Travis and Tim signing out with Equator Bushcraft. And remember guys, practice for the crisis so that in a crisis it's just like practice.